listen. Welcome back to New Life SFB, where today you will listen. But hey, guess what? We're building a gold factory and automating the entire process of creating gold. Hey, listen, leave a like and subscribe. A little while ago, I was hanging out at my base and I had a visitor from somebody not quite as glowing, no, no, glowing, glowing as me, but still pretty sunny. Hey, little guy, I, uh, I heard the word on the street is you might know a place to get some clams. If you know yeah. what I'm saying. I, d I do got some clams. Well, you see, I'm trying to get this pearl necklace that'll help me swim in the water better. I I kind of also need of a pearl necklace because drown keep trying to murder me. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, follow me this way. So if oh, you man. come over here and then boop boop and just swim up here, you'll be safe. Uh, This double chest right down there in the water, that that's all the clams I got right now. Look, this is so many clams. I told you I got clams. How many can I have? Uh, You can have all the clams. Oh. Well, thank you. I'm going to get my Pearl Guy Pearl on this ASAP. All right. Sounds good. I can't wait to see what Pearl produces. How many Pearls Pearls produces? I swear, like five minutes later, while I was just chilling here with my puppy dogs, she came back. What's up? Flip! I've Hi. done it. Finally, I got us both. Fully Ooh. powered level three pearl Ooh. necklaces. Ooh. You cannot wear them. What do we you do have with to them? Hold it in your hand. Oh, you have to hold it in your hand? I guess I could put it yeah, here. Yeah, you put it in your off hand and pretend it's a bracelet, but it does make swimming much faster. Drowned Ooh. don't pay attention to you as much. Ooh. Ooh. It's pretty cool. I am now in possession of a pearl necklace three, as well as seven more pearls, which is really nice. So if we hold this in our off hand and take the very why is there a mushroom? The mushroom. Why are there mu the mushrooms are growing? I have to go pay a certain fungal mage a visit. You best believe I'm gonna tell him to listen. Now if I land here, I can fly away, so that's okay. Do the drown? I should be able to swim faster. I thought. Does that have to be in my main hand? Okay, so they don't see me. Are they gonna see me there? They see me there. A trident boy doesn't see me though. <gasps> this is great. Nope, nope. They see me. They see me. I'm out. I'm out. I'm running. Okay, we might be able to improve the farm though. I think I think we can make it happen. First step to fixing up the drowned farm, I'm gonna need a lot more glass, which I can just climb over everything and get back here. The drowned do seem to be eventually getting stuck back here, trying to get to the eggs. So I'm thinking if we just pull up a bunch more glass, that should help fix it as it'll be too far away. You don't see me, I'm holding a pearl necklace. No, no, actually you don't see me. The item says you don't see me. So, oh, we got a monster hunter up there. No, please, please, please stop seeing me. Please, I know I'm glowing, but stop seeing me. I'm not, don't, hey, listen, go away. I said, listen, go away. Oh no, they all see me. Okay, okay, bad idea, bad idea, terrible idea. This is gonna take a while. How do you still see me? I'm so far away. Stop throwing those tridents. I don't, don't, no. All of the drowns seem to have left, so no, no, no. How did you get here? No, no, no. Stop it. Oh, no. oh, she's going back here. I'm not having fun anymore. We're just going to hope that that's enough glass to be able to uh, keep the drown moving forward. It seems like these ones are walking around, so that's good. I definitely need to find a better way to make them just move in there more easily, but I, I think I'll die in the process. So it, this is this is good. This is good enough. Look at all that copper. Yeah. I've sat here for a few minutes, and the drown seem to be getting mad at the deployer for killing their friends. So if we can get them to despawn, maybe some glass around there can fix it. Great. We're in a big glass box now. And that, that should do it. Hopefully. Now for the gold farm. I lost the turtle egg. Again. Hey, listen. Uh, it, we'll go get another one. It'll, it'll, it'll be okay. How did a zombie get in here? I'm so confused. Now my turtley friends were originally right here. Oh, there's one. Where's the other? Please tell me they're still here. Get a little seagrass. Hey, hey, listen. This way. Oh, there's your friend, Mr. Turtle. Listen, listen. Ah, you're listening. Welcome. This way. Okay, here you go. If only I could get them both up here. Maybe, maybe we can. Something that tells me I might need more turtle eggs in the future. Yes, both of you in here, please. Up here. Up this way. You know you want to get on shore. Do it. Do it. Now I just have to very quickly box them in. No, no, you're not supposed to climb out. No, stay inside, stay inside. This way, hey, hey, listen, listen. Look at the seagrass. Nope, back it, back, back it. There we go. Turtles are safe and secure if we ever need them. And I've got two turtle eggs. Why is there a skeleton here? Are they spawning on top of the spawners? You are, aren't you? Shoot the pig, they'll, they'll take care of you. No, shoot the pig, shoot the pig. Yeah, take him out, destroy him, get him gang. Hey, listen. Can you all go into that hole, please? Really wishing I was a little bit taller right now. Ooh, we can make the jump. 
No, I missed it. Uh, I have to wait 20 seconds. No, I missed it again. Uh. Okay, all done. Putting this guy back in here should fix the farm and they're all gonna wanna run in. That's fantastic. And then I think if we add a few more trap doors throughout, this will keep the egg a little bit safer. The problem is I think they're getting built up there. Okay, so now they can't, they don't think they can jump on top of it. So this one has to be air. Oh, the little jumper can get in. Help, I'm stuck. Hey, listen, I'm stuck. Okay, I see what you're doing. I like that back so you don't smash it, please. Thank you. I want to know if I put this here and flip it up, if they're still gonna try and get to the egg. Yes, they are. That'll work. There's no way a pig can get in here now. So you could still fall in the hole, please. That'd be great. Thank you. Now, on top of that, there's a few changes we need to do down here at the bottom. This is a little bit of a mess, and we can do a much better job using create. Oh, boy. Hey, listen. It's gonna be cool. Are you listening? Great. Where we currently have the precision mechanism crafter set up with this guy right over here, I want to use this back section for our gold production. So I'm thinking we want to dig down here and this is where our gold is going to come up. This will link everything together. So we just need to move the items over there and then send them up to the surface. With a little bit more space dunk out here, I want to run some belts that are going to go from that thing all the way over to here where we're just gonna hook up a vanilla item elevator using some soul sand. Make it now, I'm so close. Oh, this flying is so bad. Well, we can throw the water up here at the top, swim our own way all the way down. And I definitely get, am gonna need some more kelp so we can just use this to grow a little bit up and we can harvest it as it goes. Where all of the gold is just gonna pop up right here for now. And I need to figure out what that means for getting it onto a new conveyor belt. Now with the water all the way up here, that should be flowing out and then the items will end up on this belt and we can take them down as we need. Belt's all set up down here at the bottom to go right into our item elevator. But before we do that, I'd like to hook up a little filter right over here so that we can just get rid of the rotten flesh right away. Where we can just have it go to the item vault right out over here. That'll be flowing along straight into some fire. For a quick test right here, that should pick everything up. No, it's going the wrong way. Good thing I tested it. This should work. And it's burning. Perfect. Up top, we need to create a system that will smelt gold sores into nuggets and then compact all of the nuggets into gold ingots to store all of it. I've got something set up over here with the belts already, and I'm thinking along this back edge here, I'm actually going to tear out the cobblestone and bring in some worn bricks to start the building itself. I left a hole in the back here as we're going to need to smelt the swords down. So we can do that right in here by using some barrel filters right here. And then we'll have like a brass funnel on this taking swords in the belt along this for a few of our flip framed glass trap doors. I'll be forever running out of rose quartz. So we got to make a little bit more over here for the polished stuff. Electron tube and funnel. No, 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 no. This is gonna empty the items out of that barrel onto here. And then on this side, we're gonna use a brass one to pick them back up so that we can filter it. Then from here, we're gonna have four fans blowing through some lava that we'll set up in this point and go for a bit of the setup that we know pretty well by now. I just gotta figure out a way to power all this. I haven't quite done that. Now, the important part is we're gonna go up here so that we can throw in a basin and that creates that little thing coming out there. And we can add a mechanical press there that also needs to be powered. That should work together the power up to the top then the important part is back over here we're gonna have a big old item vault for ourselves that can store all of the extra gold ingots and then we'll have a little output right here for some more to go in from funnels because it'll only be gold ingots making it this far last step before i wire everything up i need a little bit of lava from the cave which can just go right in here and we're gonna cover that up real quick hey listen it's time for me to hook it all up quick trick down to the bottom let's grab ourselves another gold sword as everything up top is now Oh, moving. I love this. Okay, so if we set the filter for you to a gold sword, that'll pick them up and move them inside. And then, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I need water, I need water. Water? Ah, much better. And then for this filter, we can turn it to gold nuggets. So if we can see this in action, gold sword gets picked up. It's gonna chill here for a little while because it needs to finish cooking. And then the gold nugget comes through. And there's our nugget. Then this, we need to set a filter right here for the gold ingot recipe. And if we throw enough nuggets in here, oh, I forgot a funnel. 
that is smashing a critical they gets i love this i'm gonna just get rid of all the rod and flush here manually just to get out of the system because whew, there's a lot of it the only issue i'm running into right now is what to do with all these extra drops like the random little feathers we're gonna get i shouldn't have thrown those away i could have turned that into a filter filter and just tossed it okay well let's do this make an absolute mess in here and then that will extend it hold on i might have broken it i need shafts not that some extra shafts can't fix in the create mod one right there perfect this seems to be working pretty well put a little gold accent up there and then i put in a rotational speed controller so this guy's moving a little bit quicker and then i think it might look okay if we make the belts all have brass on them just you know to make it all cool and everything there's one thing i didn't calculate for though gold ingots apparently just go in here and i thought they'd just you know be like hey look gold and it would just pop out the other side but no they just sit there and that is a drop off the piggies this is how we get into Quip's version of create mod. If I put that in there, put that in there, that'll keep moving. We fix our brass casing. And then on this right here, I added a chest and I'm hoping if I put in a brass funnel, we can put the filter for gold ingots, flip that to go in. And then we have our andesite funnel right over here, bringing them out. So they're just gonna go automatically into our chest. Let's make sure it actually works. Yes, yes it does. Oh, okay, good, perfect. <laughs> Solutions. With that, the auto gold farm is fully finished up and functional. I did hook up that filter down below and it's been a little while and we have quite a few gold ingots. Oh, I'm gonna love having this setup feels great to have those farms finished up and working a little bit better now thank you for all for the feedback on the comments in last episode on those now to cover up the gold factory we need a lot of materials grabbing a bunch more of our bricks in here we can throw that in the super smelter up here to get even more of our worn bricks and we can grab a ton of our sand for one more chore slide underneath all the contraptions and throw that in here for more clay with those processing in the background i flew down into the caves to gather some andesite and i also need to grab a little bit of granite on top then for a little bit more polish on the building, I thought some limestone foundations could be nice, so I crafted a bunch of that. To relate back to the copper farm, I want to also add some trims around the windows using a little bit of our copper trap doors. The last step here, I need some yellow stained glass. I've got regular glass, but I don't really have yellow dye. I have one. I have one yellow dye. And I have sunflowers and another dye. Now for the extra effort here, I want to go into the glass blower using the chip mod and grab a bunch of these yellow square stained glass because I think they just fit that vibe for the city here really well with kind of the mismatched colors in there and now inside of these two chests here we have everything we're gonna need oh i wasn't glowing anymore it ran out my glow step one is to replace all of the cobblestone we currently have around the base of the structure and now we can stack up our worn bricks going all the way back around now for that base foundation out of our limestone i want to stack this up coming up about to the same height we have the worn bricks currently we're gonna leave a little gap here for the doorway maybe the cut limestone brick stairs will look better so it's a bit of a different texture now on the corners i want to add in some walls to round this out just a touch and i just need to carry it all the way around now now to keep it from being too flat, I want to come over to the corners here and start stacking up a bunch of our vertical slabs so it comes out just ever so slightly. And I think this should be a good height for the building yeah they'll be a little taller than that guy and now we need to do this on every single one of the corners there we go all of our supports are now in place for the base frame which means it's time to fill in the front facade of the building with a lot of windows and a pop of gold to clearly identify this as the gold factory a tip for making your buildings look even taller is the base floor right here you can see it's four tall on the windows on the top it's actually only three so it looks like that's even farther away when you're down here it's an illusion Woo! now for the small little alleyway i guess we could call it i wanted to bring in some of our eroded dripstone blocks since it's pretty hidden behind these other buildings so it probably doesn't need to look all that nice a few little details later and that'll do it back here I added in another one of those trims with our limestone as i want to transition back into that regular brick not copper no 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 I was trying to save blocks. This way the texture feels a little bit brighter and different to the worn bricks we have down below where I now am. <laughs> Being able to fly is pretty nice. The constant slow falling, not so nice. That's gonna work out pretty well for the wall in here. And if I can land on, oh, don't fall in the pipe, just land on top of the pipe. We can extend that and connect right here. Then of course, through the windows, we can do our little copper accents that we've done so far with the yellow stained glass right here behind. Now, hopefully you don't see too much of that eroded dripstone back here and you don't see any of it, especially when you're only a block tall until you get all the way to here. 
Oh, that's so great. For the remaining walls, I kept the back pretty plain and built a deep slate furnace type thing over the fan sticking out of the back before going to the shorter side and adding in a large chimney sticking all the way up into the sky to break up our current roof shape we have. One more window in over here, some extra details, and I think this is looking pretty good so far. We'll have to find some way to actually cover up the gold farm itself while still being able to access my AFK, but this looks technical enough to pass. Yeah! Now on our lower roof right here, I want to bring in our andesite brick stairs. And some slabs to smooth over the top. Only I can jump a little higher. Oh man, I hate the trap door I tried to fly. And take two. For the top roof, I wanna go a little bit more on the classic style and use our stone bricks here. And then we're gonna round the corner slightly just by incorporating some slabs. Two layers of stairs, and then we can come up here and start incorporating a few of our slabs and almost go a little bit more circular. By the corners, lowering that down and then looping it around like this. Being small, this build is taking so much longer and I can tell because I keep stumbling up all my words when I'm trying to talk. Regardless, up at this point where we we get a four by four area i definitely didn't mean for this build to be an even number but it just kind of worked out so i'm thinking we can just do this and then come in with our copper bars so we can have some sort of like an air vent out here for the factory itself to get all of the hot air out and whatever gases might be produced and then to break it up a little bit more i have these vertical slabs you can throw in and on top of that, we're probably just gonna work the slabs up to the top point. Now the tippity top up here, I'm thinking we can just take a few of our stairs so it actually does come to a single point. And that right there should work out pretty well. It's almost like rounded on the corners when it's going up and I, I like that. Look at our little city street coming together. Oh, all the buildings still feel pretty unique against each other, which is fun. And they're all made out of brick. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that one. Now the interior of this guy, a little less proud, but how much gold do we have? Ooh. But turning some shaders on over here and ooh, this looks really good. Now I'm always trying to cram even more nature inside this place. And I would take our oak leaves over here to the botanist table. And yes, there's so many different types. Let's go for our golden apple oak leaves. What are, what are you? Yeah, maybe. Golden cherry oak leaves. Ooh, yeah, I think that'll work. Those look more like flowers instead of fruit. And on top of that, let's take some fir leaves and create leaf piles where those can kind of sit right down here along the edge. Then for some of the golden leaves we have, just because I think it would look pretty cool, we can have those kind of like snaking up along the edge of this chimney or something a little like that. Now the alleyway is pretty blocked off back here with the walls. So we can kind of just cram a bunch of these in. And I'm thinking we take a bunch of the leaves as well and just fill this in so it looks like it's really lush and full. I want to also make a bunch more trees along here, which means we're going to need a lot more stripped logs to be able to build out the trunks. Kind of forgot that I could just run this through my sawmill over there, but you know, I just need to break them down now. And all of these can become more stripped spruce log walls. I think the first tree can come out somewhere right here in this corner. And so we don't run into the pipe. We can kind of have it bending out the front a bit further i don't want to completely block the building so something like that should be good for the height and then i got a few little sticks hanging out over here i know i've built a bunch of this type of tree before in this place but i just love the atmosphere it's helping to create especially with bringing in a few of our birch leaves for almost like a new growth on the edge i just have to be extra careful now as i can definitely fall through these little gaps a little bit more love later and that's looking pretty good it's a little wonky, but not every tree needs to look perfect, so it's fine. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today's episode, as I picked a way too large a project in my hardcore world, and it's taken me so long to do. That was supposed to release this week, and whoo, I'm not even close to finishing, so I'm gonna go get back to that. We'll get back into fixing up the interior next time and keep working on the city, and maybe like a boat or something. I'm thinking like a barge over here for the drown farm, or maybe better yet, we just leave it as is and just get right in into trains let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below but thank you all so very much for watching leave a like if you didn't already and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all on the flip side